I imagine that a lot of people had to spend their Tuesday evening trying to look up who exactly Jacob Wall is. And for those of us who follow Donald Trump on Twitter and like to make the horrible decision to look through the replies to his Twitter feed, um, we already knew who Jacob Wall was. He is the disgraced former, current, whatever hedge fund manager who's actually been banned from the financial sector over his uh, um, activity. Uh, But he likes to comment on every single post that Donald Trump sends out on Twitter, usually repeatedly expressing his undying love for Donald Trump. The reason people were looking up who Jacob Wall was is because Jacob Wall has now been busted as the, uh, I hate to even call him this, mastermind behind this plot to discredit Robert Mueller by attempting to bribe a woman to say that Mueller sexually assaulted her back in 1973 when the two of them worked at a law firm together. Now, Mueller actually got wind of this last week and referred it to the FBI for investigation because the woman started calling media outlets saying, Hey, there's some guy offering me money to say that Robert Mueller sexually assaulted me several decades ago. Um, I don't know what to do. So I'm calling the media. Could somebody maybe look into this? This is very weird. The woman, uh, who is named only Lorraine in the stories, uh, the idea by this group called surefire intelligence was to have her come out and say again, Robert Mueller assaulted her back in 1973 when they worked at a law firm together. So immediately reporters and internet sleuths called the law firm and they said, we have no record of anyone named Lorraine working here at that time at all. Furthermore, on the specific date that she was supposed to claim that the assault happened, Robert Mueller was actually in a different part of the country serving jury duty. So immediately that story fell apart. They weren't even in the same state on the time that that allegedly happened. But that doesn't matter because the plot was just to discredit him. And that is exactly what Jacob Wall was trying to do. And how do we know it was Jacob Wall that did this? Well, because the kid's an idiot. He decided to register the domain name for Surefire Intelligence, the group that was putting out these documents showing that the assault happened. Uh, he registered it with his own email address, which by the way is jacob.wall at nextmanagement.com in case anybody needed to know that. Um, it's actually, it's listed on the document. So you could have found it. I'm sure everybody's already seen it by this point, And I'm sure he's changed it by this point. Cause he probably needs to go ahead and do that. The conspiracy theory was also pushed by a man named Jack Berkman, a conservative radio host. Uh, a guy I thought actually disappeared years ago after he was popped several times for soliciting sex from prostitutes. I don't know that he ever actually uh, got arrested for it, but plenty of uh, sex workers came forward and said, yeah, they, Jack Berkman gave me his card. They actually showed his card. So this guy had some serious problems. He also showed up on the DC madams list. So yeah, this was a guy he loves paying for sex. And he was also neck deep in this plot with Jacob wall. And it gets even more absurd from there. I'm going to read you just this list um, (laughs) from Business Insider of all of the crazy things that people found out about surefire intelligence, Jacob Wall, and this entire plot to discredit Mueller. Here it is. Uh, Surefire's official phone number goes to Jacob Wall's mother's voicemail. So he sets up this fake company and he has to put in a phone number. He obviously can't put in his phone number. So he put in his mommy's phone number. They called it and it went to her voicemail. Wow. (laughs) Wall's emails listed in the domain records for Surefire's website. The official, uh, the office, excuse me, Surefire listed as its address is in fact occupied by a law firm that actually has nothing to do with them. An LLC with the company's name was incorporated just a few weeks ago. (laughs) <laughs> the LinkedIn profiles for several supposed surefire employees are actually just photos of other people, including model bar Raffaele and actor Christopher Waltz. And the managing partner for surefire on LinkedIn is actually just a darkened up photo of Jacob wall himself. 
The Gateway Pundit, that conservative website, had said earlier this week that they were going to post these documents, and they've posted some of them, showing that Robert Mueller is in fact a sexual predator. And it turns out those documents were actually created by Surefire. They were heavily redacted, so you couldn't even read them all, but they were completely fabricated. The woman admits people tried to pay her to say these things. The entire story has fallen apart. The whole thing's been referred by Mueller to the FBI to investigate. And it's likely that Jacob Wall, Jack Berkman, and possibly even some folks at the Gateway Pundit are going to end up going to prison for obstruction of justice. That's what's at the heart of this. They wanted to discredit Mueller. They wanted to end the probe because they want to protect Donald Trump. And by doing this, by engaging in this conspiracy, which is what it is at this point, they are all looking at very hefty prison sentences. And it's not going to take a genius working to put all the pieces together because luckily internet sleuths and reporters have already put all of the pieces together for the FBI. One of the sponsors for our content today is newsvoice.com. Com. Newsvoice.com is a new news website that actually allows users to upvote stories, submit stories, and provide multiple sources for any story on there. It's truly a user-based news organization providing viewpoints left, right, center, and everything in between. And what's so important about this is that the corporate media, most media outlets in this country are controlled by only a handful of major corporations. Because of that, they don't report on many of the stories that actually matter to your daily life. Many of the kinds of stories that we cover here on Ring of Fire, you can also find on sites like newsvoice.com. They also have a free app for both iOS and Android devices, which you can download by going to newsvoice.com ROF. Again, this is a user supported site, fully democratized, ready for you to upvote stories, add what you can and provide as many sources as possible so that everyone can see different viewpoints, different sources, and understand that this is what news was truly meant to be. Again, download the free iOS or Android app by going to newsvoice.com ROF.